What's up everyone? So today I have a ton of Amazon favorites I wanted to share with you guys. These are all random things. I'm gonna try to have them in some kind of order that makes some semblance of sense. <laughs> We've got like fashion things, home, kitchen things, office things, travel things, dog things, toddler things. We've kind of got it all. I am super pumped. If you are new to my channel, I do Amazon favorites kind of videos every few months. So definitely subscribe if you like them. And I also have an Amazon storefront. I will have the link down below. And that has all of my favorites I've mentioned over the years organized into really nice little folders. Keep in mind, I do get commission if you do buy anything through the links or through my storefront. I always like to be upfront about that. So let's dive into my favorites. Oh my gosh. I did that thing where you like put the lip gloss and the lip liner like over the center, like over your little Cupid's bow. And it makes my lips look bigger. Not that they really need to look bigger, but I kind of like the way it looks. It's like different. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it looks like I have fillers. In all fairness, I'm also using a buxom like plumping lip gloss and that definitely like gets rid of the lines on my lips so much more than like anything else does. This one's I think a limited edition one in pumpkin spice latte. Okay, okay, okay. And real fast before I get any farther, I know I just said we get into it. These earrings are from Amazon. I'm not mentioning them today, but I love them. I'll link them below. And then this top is just like a really cozy, loose like waffle weave, is that what it's called? Shirt uh, from Target. So I can link that too. Okay, okay. This coffee is cold. We're gonna start with something in the kitchen and I want to explain myself, all right? So the first thing I wanna mention is something I'm a new convert to, okay? And it is these reusable bags. Now, I've been using reusable bags for a few years now. I still have Ziploc bags in my house because some things just lend themselves better to it, but in an effort to use less plastic that's just like one-time use, I started buying these and so the first ones I ever bought were from the brand Keeper and I really like these. You can get the ones that stand up on their own. They have different sizes. I've also tried just this one called Glam Fields. I feel like they have a million of these kinds of brands where they're a little bit thinner but they're they're very similar. Well, so I follow the Amazon treasure truck, is that what it's called? What it typically is, although I think it's a little bit different with COVID right now, but it's literally a truck that will show up in certain areas of your city and there's like one special like crazy deal that they'll offer each day if they're in your area. We get a text anytime it's nearby and what the deal is. And this was one that was a deal. And because of COVID, there wasn't a truck. They just sent it to us like normal Amazon. So it was just a really good deal. But it was a sale on these stasher bags. That took me 10 years to get to what I'm talking about. These are stupidly expensive. And when I talked about these other ones I bought, a lot of you guys were like, Jessica, you've got to get the stasher ones. They're expensive, but they're worth it. And I literally would look at the price and be like, uh, no, that price is ridiculous. However, these are dishwasher safe. The other ones are not. We've tried washing some of these in the dishwasher, honestly, just to see, and they get all warped and weird, then they don't shut properly. These are made from like a really thick food grade silicone. I bought a multi-pack of like snack size, sandwich size, and then like, I don't know, quart-ish size. And we have washed these in the washer. They look good as new, guys. It's crazy. And we use like the high heat, like drying on it. They do not affect this at all, and it is incredible. So I have to say, these are very different than those. Another thing you should know is that you can cook in these, you can freeze these, you can put them in the oven. Like, the things you can do with this are unbelievable. So it ends up, in the end, if it's gonna last a really, really long time, maybe it's worth the price tag. But boy, that price tag is high. This is something that, like, I might be asking for more for Christmas. By the way, if you'd wanna see an Amazon, like, gift guide because I definitely have a lot of ideas and I'm intentionally not mentioning them in this video because I want to save it for the gift guide video. Let me know. I know I do a lot of my Christmas shopping on there. So so the next thing I have to mention is this cute little pill box I got on Amazon. This really like nice thick plastic is going to last me forever. It was like five or six bucks maybe. And it's got four little slots. You can organize your little pills or vitamins. This fits perfectly. I have a small purse I carry on day to day and it fits perfectly in there. I used to have a little one I'd had for years and it was just like a little pouch that I would squeeze and it would open. And I just had everything mixed in there willy nilly and it got gross and some of them were really old and I couldn't really see what was in there. Uh, so I finally upgraded and this is like the best thing in the world. Also side note, so ever since I had my daughter a few years ago, I get motion sickness unbelievably easily. I finally discovered via my friend these, it's Dramamine, but it's their, I literally saved the packaging to show you. It's their non-drowsy and it's made actually with just natural ginger. So it's not the normal ingredients. It works on me and it doesn't make me sleepy at all because even the ones from Dramamine that say less sleepy, Please, I'm I'm just as sleepy on those. So I'm so excited to learn about those and I just wanted to share, even though it has nothing to do with this, but that stuff is the bomb. I feel like it's always sold out when I've looked for it though, so I feel like other people know about its glory. Okay, <laughs> being a little overdramatic. So next up, I think I've mentioned this in a video before, this cute little post-it 
pop up holder. I use post-its a weird amount. It's probably just like a carryover from my days when I taught fifth grade. I don't know, but I use them a lot. It's just so pretty and sleek and I love that it's so easy to grab it and then the next one's ready to grab on the other side. And so I was like an old school post-it lover, like the ones that were just like the normal pads and I'm a recent convert to the kind that go back and forth and I love it. It's around 10 bucks and I just feel like it's totally upgraded my little area where I work at my computer and stuff. And I know a lot of us are working from home right now. So just had to say, this would be a cute like gift as well for someone. If they're going off to college or they just have like a home office, whatever. Okay, this next one I don't have in my hands, but I will show you a clip of. So this is a car organizer I bought on Amazon. And I have the larger version and the smaller version. I think now that I have both, I prefer the smaller one just because for our toddler, we like to have a couple books in the car or like some toys she can play with if we're driving, you know, 30 minutes, an hour somewhere, which we do from time to time. It's nice to just have them at arm's reach and it kind of keeps them all together. The bigger one is great, like if for a long road trip or something, you could fit even more, but really for day to day, the smaller one is plenty of room and it's really cool too because it's got these little like cup holders, but it's just got really smart organization all around it. It's really simple, it's not super expensive, and it's pretty easy to wipe clean. One of them we got milk on, and I think I've finally gotten the smell out. That was like the only thing, but it's generally, it's been pretty easy to keep clean. But again, it doesn't have to be for a kid. It could be for anything. If you just wanna be able to organize like maybe a box of tissues and hand sanitizer and a couple other things into one little container, this is perfect for that. All right, this is another one I'm really excited about. I recently bought it from Amazon and it is a black and white plaid rug, but I'm pretty sure the idea of it is that it's meant to be a rug that has a rug on top of it. That's kind of what I've seen all over Pinterest and Instagram. I'd been wanting to do it, but I was kind of struggling to find ones that were thick enough that they would lay flat and not kind of roll up at the corners, but also that was big enough so that when you put a standard size rug on top, you could still see the plaid rug underneath. Does that make sense? So we finally found it. Of course, we've got like our fall Halloween stuff up right now, but it looks so pretty with that. I'm excited to put a Christmas rug on top of it soon because I just feel like that's gonna look amazing with it. I mean, you can just use it year round. It's so pretty. So I wanted to give that a shout out because it's a really good one and it's really working well size wise for that space. So so one thing that's kind of boring, but I think it's important. I used to get in the winter when we would have the heat on in our house, I would have such dry like nasal passages. I would get nosebleeds, my throat would be dry and I couldn't figure out what it was. And finally I realized, I don't know if it was a doctor that told me, to get a humidifier. And I kind of had one off and on, but I really didn't make that connection. And once I did, boy, the second it hits that time of year where we're using our heat and I get a humidifier going, it makes such a difference. We really just have it going at night when we're sleeping because throughout the day, you know, we're in and out of the house and doing stuff. So it's not as noticeable, but at night, we make sure we've got it going in our room. We have one in my daughter's room. And so this is the one we're using this year. I like to replace them every few years because you can keep them clean, but it can be very difficult. And I don't really mess around with like breathing in mold and like having water sitting. Like, I don't like that. So I like to just replace it every once in a while. This is one I really like. It was pretty much on par with any ones I'd seen in store. In fact, it was a little bit cheaper than a lot of the ones I saw. It's very simple. You can have it on high or low. It's got different lights you could have if you, have if you wanted that. You could use it as like a nightlight for a kid if you wanted, or for yourself, no judgment. <laughs> Love that you actually can fill it on the top. Most humidifiers, you have to take the whole thing off, flip it upside down, unscrew it, and then fill it. With this one, you just twist off the top, and then you could have a pitcher that you use to fill it, and it is weirdly so much easier. So I literally bought a really cute pitcher in like the dollar spot at Target, and that's what I use each night to fill it, and it is just fantastic. It is like made that so much easier, because we pretty much have to fill it like, every other night. So it becomes a really big nuisance throughout the winter if I don't have that kind of top fill thing. I'm super pumped about it. <laughs> okay, kind of moving into fashion a bit. So I bought these sunglasses and I think they are so cool. They have, they look very much like a pair of Ray-Bans. Actually, I think my friend has, and I've been eyeing them and they're so pretty, but I love how large they are. And I love the like gold on the side with the tortoise shell like earpiece. They're so pretty. I also appreciate that these just have the plastic nose piece. So if I put it into my hair, it doesn't catch my hair like within the little pieces that some sunglasses have. That's something I really do like appreciate in sunglasses. So they're super cute. It also came with like this really nice case that zips up and it's like kind of 
It's soft, like it's squishy, but it's hard. You know what I mean? I think it's really cool. It was a crazy deal. I feel like I have had no luck like in stores trying to find cute sunglasses. And so I turned to Amazon and it did not disappoint. A necklace I love. I'd actually seen another YouTuber talk about. Let me just put it on so you can see it. It doesn't really match the earrings, but I'll sacrifice. It has this circle, like little toggle you can pull through and then you wear it like that. And it is like the prettiest necklace. The only thing I think I wish about this is that it were a little bit shorter because I think it'd be really cute like that. And so it's just a little bit longer, but beyond that, you guys, I just think it is so pretty. Since this one is a little bit longer, you could layer it with a shorter necklace if you wanted. You can wear it alone. I think it looks pretty on sweaters. It looks pretty with tank tops. It's just an all around good little necklace. And I feel like I was seeing these all around, again, like Instagram and Pinterest, and I was so excited to find one on Amazon that was like way cheaper. So a clothing item I recently got and I really like is this little floral bomber jacket. It's actually thin. When I got it, I was like, oh, it's a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. But it's kind of nice because sometimes when you're layering a lot like in the fall and winter and then you're inside You're kind of hot. You know what I mean? Like I find it really hard I love chunky sweaters and I will wear them all winter long But sometimes when you're inside all day, which most of us are it gets really hot You know what I mean? So I kind of in the end don't mind that it's thin The only thing is it actually I think runs a slight bit big I got a small and it still is a little bit bigger. I think than I envisioned but it still fits me well enough that I'm really, really enjoying it. I feel like it looks cute with like a tank top. You could just wear a white t-shirt underneath. So this is what I mean by it's, it's not big. Like it fits me. It fits the sleeves. It fits. But I just thought it'd be a little bit more. I think I'm realizing what it is. It's not that it's big. It's that it's longer than I thought. And frankly, I know many people would prefer that. But for a bomber jacket, I kind of expect it to be just a little bit shorter. And it's more... Not tunic length, but it's definitely a little bit longer. Now, I know that's gonna be a big selling point for some people, so just keep that in mind. So maybe don't size down, but just keep in mind it might be an inch or two longer than you expect if you've had a bomber jacket before. Does that make sense? So this next dress I actually wore when we got some photos taken recently that I love. My sister-in-law did them and they are just, oh my gosh, I love them so much. And this dress is just a favorite of mine. It's just, it's comfortable. The only thing is that it is a little bit short. So in the end, I do feel like it'd be a great fall and winter dress because it would be perfect with tights underneath and like a jean jacket or like a cute camel jacket. That's probably how I'll wear it going into these colder months. But I love that it's like long sleeve. It's not too, too fitted. It's super stretchy. I really, I've really enjoyed this dress. I would consider buying another color, but I also know I have far too many dresses, but they do have like a black one, a red one, and like a mustard colored one that looks really pretty too. This is one that I've talked about before. It's this black and white dress. It's short sleeve this time, and it is a little bit longer. So this is one I feel very, I'm not a fan of my legs, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. And this is one that I feel really confident in because it's just that little bit longer where I don't feel like it's like riding up and showing my thighs and that you know what I mean and so I really appreciate that I feel like that's kind of hard to find but it's also a little bit thicker of material so it's not see-through at all like it's just one of those dresses that's foolproof you can put it on with any undergarments and you're gonna feel comfortable. Again, it looks so cute with a jean jacket especially over this black one. Again, they do have other colors like a red and a maybe like a navy blue. Ooh, and like a green, that's pretty. Uh, they even have a white. I would wonder if the white is see-through though. I'm not sure. Moving on to some doggy things. We've got, we're going all over the place. We finally broke down. It wasn't even that expensive, but we had this old retractable leash for our Beagle Pinocchio forever. And it was really getting frayed and it was a random brand. I don't even know what brand it was. We'd probably had it since we got him. And so we were like, all right, we need to upgrade. Both my brother and sister-in-law use this one and our best friends, Ben and Emily use it. So we were like, all right, this is gonna be the one we get. So I got the medium size. Uh, really, we had originally ordered the large. The size is based on the weight of the dog. And our dog is a beagle and he pulls when he wants to sniff, you know? And so he's strong, he's a strong, heavy boy. And so we went with the large thinking that would make sense, but it was so big and like when I would have my hand in it, I'm like, Tyler, no way. And so we ended up returning that and getting the medium right away. It's perfect, it feels so smooth and like it's really quick when you need to stop them. They have different colors. And the nice thing is our friends Ben and Emily said they had it and there's like a one year warranty or something like that on it. And theirs had gotten frayed because they walk their dog a ton. They live like in a city. He said they contacted Tug and they like replaced it no questions asked. I'm like, that is so cool. I love companies like that that are like really standing behind their products. So really like loving this, loving this, loving this. Now the next thing we got, one thing that drives me nuts is when like your dog doo-doo bag 
is plastic and it bangs against like the leash as you're walking, that noise drives me crazy. So I found this little like faux leather one on Amazon and it is so nice. And what's cool is you get standard rolls of like doggy bags. We actually found these compostable ones on Amazon. I can link below, they're, they're nice. I mean, they're doggy bags, but I think it's cool that they're compostable too. But you don't have to worry about lining it up with like a little like a thing for it to twirl on. You just put the whole bag in and it just naturally, because of the snugness of the little opening, it'll pull it out perfectly. So so I love this, I think it's so cool. The hardest thing was finding a little thing to attach this to this. So what we ended up doing is, this is insane, I know, okay? We bought the Tug brand uh, waste bag holder that had this on it, but it was a plastic holder. So I took that holder off and used this to put this on because there's something about the size of this handle that you can't get it on. We even tried like carabiner clips, like different sizes, we still couldn't get it on. So anyway, just in case you're planning on buying this whole combo, you might also have to buy the tuck thing. <laughs> but now we have a backup little waste bag holder too. So I guess that's a win-win, I don't know. All right, next up, this is a, I wanna mention this cause I wanna ask your guys' advice. We needed new sheets and we typically go with white sheets just because it's just easy to bleach them. We know they're super clean. I don't know, that's just like the way we've always done it. And so we needed some new ones and we needed them to have really deep pockets so that the fitted sheet will actually fit all the way to the bottom of the mattress. These were insanely highly rated. They were like 47,000 like five star reviews and it's from the brand Sonoro Kate and it says it's 1800 thread count, luxury Egyptian seats, sheets, but has 16 inch deep pockets. We were like, all right, done, the reviews are great. So we got the white. Here's the thing, they're really nice. They're soft, but it's like in a way, but it's very different than like a high thread count sheet you'd buy, you know, that you'd feel at the store and it's super silky. It's not like that. It's more of a microfiber, like lived in kind of soft, in a good way. However, because of what it's made of, our dogs, fur sticks to it like crazy and it's driving me nuts. So I feel like I have to wash my sheets like every three days. You know what I mean? That's way too much. So I, I, I'm mentioning them because if you don't have a dog or your dog doesn't shed, they're lovely. I think, and it's a great deal for what you're getting. And I really do think they're super soft. They wash just fine, but that's just something to keep in mind. So if you have any advice, I'm willing to spend more on nice sheets that is maybe not microfiber. I'm learning, we just can't have that. Um, but we just need new ones, man. And I need ones that have that deep pocket. So let me know if you have any recommendations. Okay, so I don't know where this next one is, but this one is amazing. It's this pretty inexpensive mesh beach bag or tote bag, whatever. This will fit so many beach towel. It will fit so much stuff in it, you guys. I was astounded with how much we could fit in this thing. And so if you're just like, if you've got a lot of family and you're just tired of dragging out like five different bags to like the beach or to the lake or wherever you might be going that you might need to carry like a bunch of towels, sunscreen, snacks, this can fit it all, you guys. It is incredible and I love that it's mesh so you can just shake out the sand, shake out the rocks, whatever. It seems to be pretty decent construction. Like it feels really strong for something that's just mesh, you know? And then it does have like a little zipper pocket so if you wanna protect stuff, like maybe throw your phone or wallet or something in it. But I, it was kind of one of those things I bought on a whim and it worked out so well and I was like, I am so glad I bought this. This is gonna be something I use for years, I am sure. All right, speaking of like beach, lakes, etc., these water shoes, I've never owned water shoes in my life. These are around 20 bucks and they're crazy lightweight, but they are amazing. Oh, my beagle wants to come in. This boy just wants to weigh. You smell like outside. Were you just playing in the backyard? And as quickly as he came, he went. These water shoes are just amazing. They're super lightweight and they're like cute. They look like actual tennis shoes I would buy and wear, but of course they're mesh. The bottom, even though these are really lightweight, they're protective. So like if you're walking on a rocky shore somewhere, you really are like golden. So I love that, you know, if you're packing them, they're not gonna take up much room. They're really lightweight. They're not gonna add a lot of weight to your luggage, but they are incredible. I have these in like this like salmon color. My husband has some in white. He loves loves them. Just, wow, I was astounded. I feel like water shoes have come so far. <laughs> All right, another weird one, but one that, man, is near and dear to my heart. My heart. It's this heating pad. Okay, so I've, I love heating pads. I am someone that, like, if it is that time of the month, or back when I was pregnant, or if I'm just achy, heating pads are my first line of defense, and I love them. I'm pretty sure there was a point in time where I was sleeping on a heating pad like for months, every single night. I just love it. And most of them, they'll auto off. So they'll be on for like an hour and then they'll just turn themselves off. So it's really nice. I feel like old time heating pads, my mom always used to scare me because I feel like the heating pad we used to have that was like from the 70s would not turn off. And that thing got so hot, you it was like dangerous. I'm like, oh my gosh. 
it's gonna burn someone's house down. But anyway, this is from the brand Sunbeam. And actually I've owned some Sunbeam ones in the past. I replace these every once in a while just because I do think after a few years, they are not like as hot as I want them to be. <laughs> this is the best one I've ever owned because it is so soft on this side. And the best part is you can take this off. I know this is gonna sound crazy and you can machine wash this. I know, I know, you really can. You have to make sure it's like dried fully. I've washed this once and I think I just air dried it just to be safe, but anyway. Um, but yeah, it's it's incredible, you guys. It's got three heat settings. It's kind of larger, so you can kind of wrap it just a little bit if you wanted to. Sometimes I'll wrap it around, like if my calf is hurting or something, I'll wrap it around my leg and fall asleep like that. It'll auto off after an hour or two, and I just, I think it's fantastic. It's one of those things that if you don't have a heating pad in your house or you've never used one, you'll be amazed at how much you love it. Like for cramps for me, Mwah. I don't even need like Midol when I've got this because it just alleviates the pain so well. I totally forgot to mention this. This is this cover up. And here's the thing. I have tried so many different like swimsuit cover ups and I don't, I've learned that I don't like ones that are just open because a lot of times if I'm putting a cover up on, I want it to be closed so that I can have my hands free to like pick up my toddler or like whatever. And so the open ones I don't love as much. I have some, but I, they're not as useful to me. This one is perfect because it's still mesh and see-through and it's really cute, but it itself is like in a dress format. You know what I mean? It's not gonna slide open. And so I just think it's like one of those perfect things that I'm like, that I can't believe I've gone this long without. So they have a ton of different colors and they also have different styles. So. I got the one that's like the black lacy one, but they have different styles on this and they have white, different colors, blue. I might consider getting like one more color and then getting rid of all my other cover-ups that I never use because this is this is what I want in a beach or like pool cover-up. So I think that's everything. If you want to learn more about some of my other Amazon favorites, like I said, I've been doing these every few months for the past like year or two. I will link my Amazon playlist down below because I do have a lot of videos if you want to binge them. I don't think I repeat the same thing twice in any of the videos. So you will be getting fresh new favorites and I still stand by all of those favorites. And of course, if you wanna see all of my Amazon favorites on Amazon so that you can add them to your cart, they're all organized into little lists. It's really easy to shop there. I will put that link in the description box as well. Again, I do get a small commission if you do purchase anything through those links or via my storefront, just so you know. But yeah, if you enjoyed, I hope you subscribe. Say hi to me on Instagram. It's at it's Jessica Braun and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.